So this is the first uh, prototype of my Arduino bat test, which is a battery testing unit based around Arduino and a constant... Oh god, the lighting's horrible here. Let me switch the lights off. Um, there we go. Much better. Um... What's that? That light's just reflected. Never mind. It shouldn't be plugged in right now. Um, which is a constant current load source based around an Arduino. Uh, a little MOSFET module. Um, and a constant current load itself. Um, and it uses an Arduino to log the amount of time before and the voltage um, of the battery. Um, which you can then use to get the capacity in amp hours because you just multiply the amount of amps drawn by the constant current load by the amount of hours it ran and then you get amp hours. Um, so this was originally planned to be much more versatile and I just ended up um, kind of doing a terrible job building it. It's all of the plans are there to make it much more versatile but this 3D print is really horrible and I didn't feel like reprinting it because it's a decently big part. Um, Nothing's really mounted in place right now. This is the um, main control panel, which has a little OLED that um, is very loose right now. Um, it was taped into place, but the tape... It's, yeah. Um, it, so it has an OLED here, which is hooked up to the Arduino. It has some buttons here, which are hooked up to the Arduino to um, change the cutoff voltage. It was going to have a um, potentiometer here that was going to be soldered on to the constant current load to change the current. But I ended up um, not... I thought it was a 10k um, potentiometer, and it's actually a 1k, and I don't have any 1k's right now. And I don't feel like waiting to get one, so we're just using the one on the back. Um, and then it was supposed to have a little uh, current meter here so we could change the current. Um... And again, that also didn't end up working out. I thought I ordered one of the current meters, but I guess I, um, from AliExpress that would fit here, but I guess I didn't because I don't have one. Uh, I can't find it. Um, which, it's not that much of a surprise I can't find it because I have a lot of, um, like half-built projects here, but I, I legitimately can't find it. Um, um... I thought I knew where I put it, and I, I don't know, I maybe just never ordered it, because I had a, I had a couple voltage meters there, but no current meter. Um, and in the front it has a little just 18650 holder, because I will mostly be charging 18, uh, testing 18650s, and I originally had plans to put an XT60 and a USB connector, um, but I'm not going to do that now because the Arduino can't even measure voltages greater than 5 volts without a resistive divider, and the resistive divider causes you to lose way too much accuracy to the point where it's not usable. Um, I, I was going to use a resistive divider originally because I wanted to be able to test up to 12 volt packs, um, maybe even a little more. Um, but no, that's not a thing that works very well. Um... But yeah, it technically works right now. It's um, if we wanted to test it with our um, benchtop power supply. God, this video is gonna be so bad. But um, and this isn't even on. If we wanted to test it with our benchtop power supply, we plug it into a 5 volt source, such as this power bank, which for some reason the lead just went on, but, um, you can see right now it says it's done because we're not putting any voltage into it, so it thinks the voltage has fallen below the threshold. Um, but now it's running, it keeps track of the, t God, keeps track of the, this is all on its side right now because nothing is glued in place yet. I have a hot glue gun out, I'm gonna glue things in place eventually. And my camera's not focusing. Focus. Focus. Okay, this is not gonna work. This is just terrible on so many levels. Um. But you can see it. it, it, it you no, know, you cannot see. Um. That it says running, it keeps track of the time in seconds, it says input equals, and it says the input voltage, 
and it says Vmin equals, and the default is 2 volts, and you're supposed to be able to change it with these buttons, but they're not working right now because nothing is working, apparently. Um... I don't know why the buttons aren't working, um, because they're all wired up to work, and they were working earlier, but they're not working, so, you know, go figure that out. Um... Please turn off your... No, don't go into SOS mode. There we go. Stupid power bank. Um... Yeah, it's kind of a mess in here. Um, but it, the button panel should very much be working. So we have the 5 volts wired up, um, to this little thing here. We have ground wired up to here. Um, this is just, one goes to the module and one goes to the ground there. And I know I didn't need to use a module if I bought the module. Um, why did I even buy the module? It's, I have... Uh, these are salvaged, so they would be kind of hard to solder to. Um, but I'm sure it's doable, and these are the same transistor, uh, MOSFETs that this is. Um, I'm pretty sure. These are from a dead ramps board that, uh, I accidentally blew up when I was helping a friend with something. Um, it wasn't working properly anyways, which is why I was trying to help him. Um, and I just made it worse, but it's fine. Um... But yeah, it's, it's definitely a mess in here, but it, it should be working, and it's not um, working exactly, but it's working well enough. It's, even if I can't, I'm going to try to get the button panel working, but even if I can't, you can just predefine the voltage to the um, minimum 18650 voltage, because that's pretty much all I'm ever going to be able to test with this, because um, the Arduino can't do anything more than um, 5 volts. Um, and that's what I'm mostly going to be buying anyway, buying 18650s. Um, so I can just set that, instead of 2 volts, just minimum 18650 voltage. And then the display, um, the current display, again, I can just hard set the current to like 1 amp. Which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I, I've... I've been very busy. Um, it's, I've been working on projects. It's, I've been working on this, um, which this is from a really, really cheap, like, $10 um, RC hobby remote um, that has proprietary electronics, and I'm redoing it with an Arduino, and um, this is going to be the receiver module, actually, on um, these little um, 2.4 gigahertz Arduino radio modules. If I have another one around here somewhere. Um, because I want to build an RC plane, and I 3D printed some parts for it, um, so that, it, it's, I've been doing a lot of stuff, um, it's the reason I need to test the batteries, is I want to b build a variable voltage battery pack, um, using these, which, um, I filmed some stuff for this, but it's very boring, it's just desoldering and soldering on, um, it's not actually... It's not actually like this, which is somewhat interesting, um, but it's, these are, uh, buck converters, and I want to build a pack that, with these hooked up to it that I can vary the voltage, um, and, yeah, th these are the 10Ks that I have, and I thought this used a 10K as well, but I, th th this... Why is the focusing so bad, my god? Is there something on the lens? No, maybe this camera's just really bad at focusing. Um, yeah, I got a new phone. Uh, well, an older phone than my last phone, but a newer Android version because my last phone wasn't getting updates anymore and I couldn't deal with that. Um, I got a Nexus 6P, and I guess the camera's on it just garbage. Um... Because this is just complete potato vision, and I'm sure you can't see anything because just everything's out of focus. Um, but anyways, it's, this is the 
I, drew, I just drilled a hole for the actual hole, um, potentiometer because I measured it and it was 1K, not 10K. Um, and I don't have any 1Ks and I didn't feel like waiting for them. But, yeah, th this is what I've been doing. Um, among other things like the receiver. And I'm sorry that I haven't put, posted any updates since I've been very busy with school. And, um, yeah. Th this is all. Um, sorry for the terrible quality. Um, I may have to film on a dedicated camera in the future, but it's just so much easier to use my smartphone. And normally the quality is much better than this, but I've never tried filming on the Nexus before. Um, so, yeah, but that's all. Bye.